Transformation and healing are possible if you understand how your mind generates what you perceive as your reality. Hello, my name is Floris de Klerk, NLP and Self-Concept Transformation Coach. In this video, I would like to cover some of the essential points you need to know about your conscious and subconscious mind. Your mind consists of the conscious and the subconscious. The conscious mind is external and produces impressions. It can think, reason, judge and decide which decisions to make. All the information, feelings and sensations you experience are in your mind. The conscious mind chooses what to believe and how to feel or react to a situation. It impresses all this information onto the subconscious mind. The subconscious is the inner or internal part of your mind. It records all information, real or imagined, that the conscious mind impresses onto it. The subconscious responds well to repetition, which generates mental patterns of behavior. It also controls the vital processes of your biology. The subconscious is your direct connection to infinite intelligence, source consciousness. Hence, your internal data bank holds all the answers to everything you've ever needed to know. The programmable subconscious records everything as it is and accepts all input data from the conscious mind as true. It does not distinguish between good and evil. It is a database of information related to everything you have ever identified yourself with. Your subconscious records how you think, feel, react to, believe or interpret anything about yourself, others and the world you perceive around you. An important note to remember is that not all your thoughts and beliefs come from you. Many are projected onto you by other people, media, education, religion or whatever cultural environment you live in. The subconscious mind uses all this information to generate and form the filters through which your external reality is manifested. These filters which the subconscious generates are expressed externally as your self-concept. Your concept of yourself is the externalization of your subconscious. So your self-concept is your belief about yourself. It reflects how you perceive and react to life. You build the stories and experiences that form your personality through your self-concept. Your self-concept is who you are. And like one of my favorite quotes from James Allen, men do not attract that which they want, but that which they are. Hence, your self-concept is the key to why you fail or succeed in life. It all relates to what the conscious mind impresses onto the subconscious. In other words, your externalized world always mirrors what you believe. When you believe you are compromised in any way, sickly or poor, you impress these thoughts and feelings onto the subconscious. The subconscious externalizes these qualities as prominent features in your external reality. So you begin to notice that many others are sick and there are more poor people than before. The more energy you put into these thoughts and beliefs, the more proof you seem to find around you that it's true. And so the eternal loop of sickness, poverty and everything linked to these thoughts continue to recycle itself in your life. The question is, what are these habitual patterns that you impress onto your subconscious? The subconscious uses all this information to generate filters. What do these filters look like that influence how you perceive and interpret your reality? It all starts from the moment of your birth. As a child, your subconscious mind is still developing, and like a sponge in water, it absorbs copious amounts of information. Everything the vulnerable conscious mind perceives is recorded in the subconscious as real. This is why many deep-seated issues relate to feeling weak and unprotected. You store the good things you think and experience as resources and valuable memories, but most of your uncomfortable or unwanted memories you repress or deny. These are your shadows. 
Your suppressed shadow stuff significantly impacts your self-concept because the subconscious feeds the conscious mind. Hence, the uncomfortable shadow stuff always finds a way to the surface to play out your unresolved issues. You cannot escape your problems. They follow you wherever you go. They can lead to self-harm, disharmony and health problems if unresolved. Repressed shadow stuff can be resolved through inquiry and reframing. If you watch a movie that triggers a reaction, be it anger, violence, fear, joy or love, the subconscious mind records it as an authentic experience, even though it never happened in real life. Your reaction impresses the subconscious. This is why you must consider what movies, news or information you consume. All forms of visual or sound mediums are powerful mind programming technologies. They can get you to react and feel the emotion in a certain way, which impresses the subconscious mind with experiences that it records as real. Your subconscious uses these recorded experiences to generate the filters influencing how you perceive your reality. Hence, your external world is a reflection of your inner world. If your inner world is filled with violence, negativity and problems, your outer world will reflect these qualities. If your inner world is filled with positive signals, then your world will reflect these. You always find yourself wherever you go. If your past is filled with patterns of negativity, you can use inquiry and reframing to shift how you experience your reality. Reframing is about changing the meaning of the experience and the way you perceive and interpret it. In doing so, you can fill your inner world your subconscious with thoughts and feelings of gratitude, health and prosperity. This, in turn, will shift your outer world to reflect these positive qualities. Your environment may be full of people, places and situations that have no meaning to you, but that is only until you react to them. The moment you respond to something, you permit it to exist. This reaction initiates a feeling that signals to the subconscious mind that it is real, even if the whole story was imagined. The point is your subconscious mind continues to use the information impressed onto it from the conscious mind to generate filters that influence how you perceive your world and everything in it. To clarify, the subconscious cannot distinguish the difference between a real and imagined experience. How you use your imagination to intentionally or unintentionally perceive, project or interpret what's happening in your reality significantly impacts how your subconscious records information and how it affects your conscious experience of your world. The key here is the powerful creative force of your imagination. A wild imagination can result in discord and madness. A controlled imagination creates and forms a balanced, structured and orderly world. To change your self-concept, you have to be able to use your imagination to reframe how you feel about what you think and believe. Here is the clue. If you can change how you feel about your beliefs, then you change your world. In following videos, I will cover the power of your imagination, shadow work, how to recognize your current self-concept, and reframing unwanted mental blocks to enhance your personal growth. Thank you.